Hello all, in this video, we'll be learning how to install a MySQL server using Docker. We'll see how to pull an image, to run a container, how to check for running containers, to connect to MySQL, to create a table and insert a record in it. Then we'll restart the container and check that the table we created in this step is also available even after restarting the container. Let's move ahead and see the workflow, how we are going to achieve all this. So this is the workflow which we will be following in this video. In the first step, we will be pulling a MySQL server image. In the second step, we will check that the image is pulled or not. Thirdly, we will create a data directory in which we will keep all the data of MySQL. Then we will run the container using the image. We will check that the container is running or not. We we'll get the root password from the logs. Then we will update the root password as per our requirement. Then we'll configure MySQL in such a way that we'll be able to use MySQL from outside the container also. Then we'll create a sample table and insert a sample record in it. Then we'll restart the same container and check that the data that we created in this step is available after restarting or not. Now let's move ahead and do all this practically. First step is to pull the image. For pulling the image, we'll use the following command that is docker pull and provide the name of the image. Let's open the terminal and do it practically. Use Ctrl Alt T to open the terminal. Let me zoom it a bit. Let me switch to root user to fire docker commands. Let's pull the MySQL server image now. Command is executed. Let's go back to the slides and see the next step. The next step is to check if the image is pulled or not. Let's go back to the terminal and check the same. Let's check the image now using docker. Images. See this. We can see that the image is successfully pulled. Now let's go back to the slides and see the next step. The next step is to create the data directory. Let's go back to the terminal and do the same. Let's go to the specific path now. You can create this particular directory on any path you like. I am creating it in a directory named docker storage. Reside on my home. Let's change our directory to that. Using cd home tunnel, docker storage. This is an empty folder as of now. Let's create a directory here using mkdir mysql data. Let's hit enter. The directory is created. Now let's go back to the slides and see the next step. The next step is to run the container using image. For running the container, we are using docker run command, providing the name of the container, binding the port, providing the name of the image, and binding the directory. You see this, here we have given our local system path, that is docker storage MySQL data, on which we want to put all the files which will be available inside the container on path variable lib mysql now let's go back to the terminal and do the same let's paste the command here and hit enter the command is executed now let's go back to the sites and see the next step the next step is to check the container is running or not and to do so we'll be using docker ps command now let's go back to the terminal and do the same Let's check if the container is running or not using docker ps. Yeah, in the status, we can see that it's up and its health is starting. That is, it is in the process of starting. It is not started yet. It may take some time for starting. You can check the status using docker ps command in some time. Now let's check again that the container is started or not. Docker ps. We can see that it is up 4 minutes and now the status is healthy. Let's go back to the sides and see the next step. The next step is to get the root password from log. And to do so, we will be using docker logs command and provide the name of the container after that. Let's go back to the terminal and do the same. Let's print the log now. Docker logs mysql. All the logs of the container are printed on the console. What the container is doing is, it is generating 
a random root password for us. Now let's scroll up and find the same. Let's see here. Generated root password is this. So just copy this. Now let's go back to the slides and see the next step. The next step is to update the root password. To update the root password, what we'll be doing is we'll be going inside the container using docker execute command. Then after going inside the container, we'll connect to the MySQL server using user root and the password that we just copied. And after connecting to the MySQL terminal, we'll alter the password for the root user. And here you can define any password you like. As of now, I have provided root. Now let's go back to the terminal and do all these steps. Let's go inside the container now using docker execute hyphen it mysql bash. We are inside the container now. Let's connect to the mysql console using mysql user root hyphen p for password. Just paste the password here that you copied. I think I copied the password wrongly. Let's just go back and copy it again. Let's try again. We are connected to the MySQL console now. Let's update the password now. Let's paste the query here and hit enter. Let's commit the changes now and exit the console. Now let's go back to the slides and see the next step. The next step is to use MySQL from outside the container. To do so, what we need to do is we need to configure this particular file which resides in etc MySQL folder. This file will be available on your system only if you have installed MySQL client. If you have not installed that, I'll put a command to install the same in the description of this video. Now let's move ahead and update the socket in this particular file. Let's go back to the terminal now. We are inside the container. Let's exit the container now. Let's open the file and update the socket. We'll open the file using nano etc mysql my.cns. So this is the configuration file in which we need to update the socket. Let's paste the socket path here. In the configuration, what you need to update is we need to write this client tag and in this client tag, we need to provide a variable named socket. And in this socket, we need to provide the path of the socket file that is mysql.soc. And you get this file in the mysql data directory that we created in the third step. Now let's write the file. We have updated the socket successfully. Now let's try to connect the same mysql using our local system or we can say using our local system mysql client. Let's just open a different terminal for this using control shift T. Let me zoom in a bit. Let's connect to the MySQL console now using command MySQL hyphen U user is root hyphen P. Here just provide the password that you have provided in that alter command. I have provided root so I will type root here. Let's see this. We have connected to the same MySQL console that we connected from inside the container. Now let's go back to the slides and see the next step. The next step is to create a sample table and insert a record in it. To create a table, we'll use simple create table command. We'll be creating a table named contacts in which we'll be providing a primary key contact ID, last name, first name of the user and birth date of the user. In the next step, we'll just insert a sample contact. Now let's go back to the terminal and do this practically. Let's create the database first. For creating it, let's use the command create database and the name of the database. For now, I am providing it as sample. The database is created. Let's see if it is created or not using show database. 
you see here sample database is created let's switch the database now using use sample the database is changed now now let's paste the create command here and create the table contacts let's hit enter it says that the table is created let's check the same using show tables command the tables available in sample are contacts that is there is only one table available in it now let's insert a sample record in it using insert command now let's query the contacts table and see if the data is available or not that is select star from contacts we can see that one record is available now let's commit everything and exit my script. now we have created a sample table and inserted a sample record in it now let's stop the container and start it again and check that if this data that we just created is available or not even after restarting the container let's go back to the root terminal that we had let's get the listing of the containers that are running using docker ps mysql container is running let's just copy the id from here and stop the container using docker stop and provide the id here this will stop the container let's just check the status again using docker ps command you see here there is no container running now let's just start the container again using the same id and the command will be docker start provide the same id here this will start the container again just check it again using docker ps command you see this it is starting again just wait for some time the status will change to healthy let's check the status again once this here now the status is healthy now let's go back to the second terminal that we had and let's try to connect to mysql again now let's check if the database that we created is available or not using show databases just see here sample database is already available now let's switch to this database using use sample now let's see the table that we created exists or not using show tables we can see that the contacts table is already available now let's check that the sample record that we inserted in the contacts table is available or not using select star from contacts we can see that the data is available so the data and table was available even after restarting the container i hope now you are clear with how to install a mysql server using docker in case of any doubts please let me know in the comment section thank you for watching the video